Welcome back to another NTSB final report from Leesburg, Florida, May 25th, 2021. It was this helicopter here, a Blackhawk November 9 Foxshot Hotel with four on board. Sadly, they did not make it, but let's see what happened. You can see it's a firefighting helicopter ad adaptation and it has that snorkel hanging there. And right now you can see how stable that snorkel is hanging. Now that snorkel looks a lot different. So witnesses were trying to call the tower, they are trying to contact the pilot. But it was too late. And there it is, as you can see, going down as that snorkel caught. According to the operator, a new water tank and snorkel were installed on the helicopter to facilitate firefighting operations. Several days of ground testing and calibrations were performed before the accident flight, which was the first flight after the water tank was installed. The purpose of the local flight was to check the operation of the new fire tank system. So the helicopter made six uneventful passes in front of the operator's hangar at the airport and dropped the water and was picked up from a lake adjacent to the airport. During each of these passes, the snorkel was observed to be stable. However, during the seven pass the snorkel was swinging from the helicopter the helicopter then began to hover release water from the tank and transition to forward flight gaining altitude and airspeed the snorkel then continued to make large and slightly erratic oscillations as the helicopter climbed afterward witnesses heard a loud bang pieces of the main rotor blade and tail section separated and the helicopter descended vertically to the ground as we saw in the video and the post impact fire ensued so that post impact fire you can see must have been burning quite hot and it did hit uh, the surrounding area and trees a lot of debris and you can see the, this white charring from how hot that fire was here's the overview um, of the main rotor blades and here is pretty interesting the yellow blade exhibiting semicircular shape leading edge uh, separation and the snorkel pump basket formed in the same shape of that um, blade leading edge so and here is that snorkel um, given the sudden change in behavior of the snorkel from the consistently stable condition in normal flight to one with large and erratic oscillations, it is likely that the tank snorkel support structure was compromised and allowed the snorkel's oscillation to increase in such a way that the pump assembly at the end of the snorkel hose contacted the main rotor blade. The contact imparted enough energy to fracture the rotor blade at the point of contact which resulted in an imbalanced rotor system and subsequent in-flight breakup of the helicopter. So here's a picture of uh, the nut bolt fasteners pulled through and ripped the nut plate at the top. And this is basically that snorkel hose connection as it ripped off. And here's what it looked like from the airport. You can see that heavy smoke on that day. And firefighters must have had a difficult time because it was in this heavily wooded swampy area. So just making access to the aircraft itself looking for survivors was a challenge in its own right. Here's a tail section located 50 yards from the main wreckage. So 50 yards, I mean, that's quite a, quite a breakup of the helicopter. Tail rotor remained attached to the vertical stabilizer. It happened here at Leesburg International Airport in Florida. If any of you are familiar, Approach end of runway three around this area here is where it ended up. So here's the wreckage uh, debris map. So here's where the empennage tail rotor was. The main wreckage was here. And then you can see some fragments um, all on that part of the runway. And then here is the pictures they got um, from that investigation to about two years ago, May 25th, 2021. And here's the flight aware as this aircraft was picking up and dropping off water. It did six passes and then on the seventh pass is when the snorkel made contact with that main rotor and there's the proximity to the airport and it happened about 5 12 p.m. 
And here's a close up look at that UH60 Blackhawk. Very sad for the four on board. Uh, probable cause failure of the water tank snorkel support structure, which allowed the snorkel to contact the main rotor blades. Contributing to the accident was insufficient Federal Aviation Administration oversight of the supplemental type certificate process for the water tank and snorkel. And speaking of the FAA, there is recent FAA news here. Uh, we can listen to Billy Nolan. We think about the kind of cuts that might be either anticipated or put forth. We are talking about having to furlough all FAA employees for up to 22 days. We're talking about the potential reduction in force of t up to 10%, which is uh, in excess of 4,000 FAA employees. It means immediate cuts in all of these critical systems. It would mean suspending training at, uh, at our FAA Academy. So this path we're on to getting more controllers out there to meet the, the demand that is back faster than ever. It would mean closing, shutting down service to 125 low activity towers and over 250 federal contract towers, which means that two thirds of the NAS, two thirds of the NAS will be without air traffic control services. Well, budget cuts are never good, especially impacting you pilots. And even, you know, we're funded a lot by the FAA as well as firefighters. These our vehicles are $1.3 million and the FAA pays 80% and we come up with the rest and we get new trucks every 10 years or so. So when there's budget cuts to the FAA, it affects everyone at the airport and the safety of everyone as well. So I hope you found this interesting. Here's some more NTSB final reports. If you want to watch it, please subscribe to the channel if you found it interesting. This is Arfadam Keone. I'll see you guys next time.